The V-bar bent over row. I want to just talk about this setup and how that, what this looks like in, uh, in, in the gym environment. What you're going to need, obviously, is that um, barbell. You're going to need that, lamb, that landmine fixed point. So either, as we talked about in our previous videos about how to set this one up, you're either looking for that landmine attachment, either at the base of a, a squat rack in the gym or it's a separate unit, or you can just simply use a weight plate and fix and just simply prop, hold the, uh, the end of the barbell in the base, um, in, in, the, in the middle of the, of the, limp, uh, the hole. From here, you're gonna need that cable attachment. So we're just looking for that kind of V-bar, that V-bar cable attachment. You, you can just find them by, by, the, by the base of the cable machine. This is the handle we're gonna be using. Now, I'm not gonna put any weight on this today. I've got the 20 kilograms on the bar, which is more than enough. So I can either insert it into the, into the, into the landmine attachment, or I can simply put it in the base of, of the weight plate. From here, I'm going to set myself up. Handles just popping underneath, popping underneath the uh, bar there. From here, I'm going to deadlift it up. So I'm going to sit down into it, get myself in front of it, stand up nice and safely, it's nice and tall. Hips then come back. And then from here, I'm looking just to row the handles in towards the chest, hold that nice hip hinge position. I'm looking to squeeze every rep. I'm looking to hold that tension, okay? So we can add weight to this. But as I said, it's another fantastic exercise for us to put load through the back, also working on that hip hinge position. And again, a really effective way of training your upper back whilst, whilst working on that posterior chain as well.